What's going on? Welcome on to the channel. This is a quick, just course. Well, it's a, it'll be like a quick playthrough of a golf course called Pine Isles Golf Course. Somebody in the comments section asked that I give it a play, so I'm going to uh, just give it a little quick review. All right, Pine Isles Golf Course, golf club, golf course. Pretty scenic. Very well thought out, especially with the cliffs. So far, I'm really liking uh, liking what I'm seeing here. Very small green. Kind of flat green, though. Up four. Should be pretty good. I am playing on default. Default speeds. Opening part to start. Not too bad for a shot of the day. I like uh, this little shot here because it forces you. You can hit a full driver, but down 32 feet, you kind of risk running out into this par 5. It is a short par 5, though. It's very small green seems to be the trend. Just trying to get it on there, give myself a look. Oh, flew it a little too far. I really like the design here. One thing I will say is if the design is, is pretty spot on so far, but the greens are obviously a little bit slow. Slow to flat. So there's not much curvature in it. Um, oh, I really like this hole. Super small green. Down 10, got some elevation. If you put this into a win, this could be a, a game changer for a lot of people who got some boats off the hill. I like it. I like that a lot. Spun it back a little bit. It's really good stuff, but see how there's no uh, no real elevation to the greens, which makes it pretty 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 easy, I would say. But oh, great great hole design here. No one's gonna be able to get there unless you get into the wind. Really kind of force your hand here. Really liking the layout of this course. Not many people played it. Only 47 plays so far. The rough is pretty forgiving. It's only 86% rough, which you could really uh, force people's hands if you kind of knock that up a little bit. Get up. Ooh. But at the same time, I get myself. Get out of here with the par. Obviously, this is just a quick playthrough. It's more about the course than it is about the score. So don't knock me if I'm uh, playing quickly. I'm not doing my normal process. But oh, nice little bottleneck here with the cliff in the way. Let's see if I force the cliff here because I hit slow. Not too bad. I par four. We cancel each other out. Pretty good. Yeah, my only complaint so far is these the greens. Now I, I do love the size as I just joke on that one right there. I do love the size of the greens. My only thing is if you wanted it to be a platinum level or a elite one of those, you're probably going to need some more undulation in them simply because people will have a field day on that. Like people are, oh, that's, that's a fast swing. People are playing the hard, hard courses and they're shooting 
16 under par, and those greens are absolutely ripping. Just wanted to give that a try. See if we can... Bum, bum, bum. It makes it very forgiving. I mean, it's a very fun. It's a very scorable course. Some beautiful scenes. I love this fairway. Force to drive to get a little short shot in. Let's see if you can get over the tree. Cannot get over the tree. Absolutely love that. Yeah, you really got to force people to hit a big draw in there. 75%. I like that. It's very scenic and it flows really well. This is a very, it's a quality course. But yeah, I think this could be a very good uh, challenge circuit course or challenge, challenge tour course. I don't know if this would make it to the pros simply because of the greens. I always love when you have like a little cookout session in the back. It's always big time. Hit driver through the green. Oh, I love that you can't. I mean, we could try it. Let's see. Can people get through it? Oh, you get through it. You got to be able to hit a good shot, though. I kind of like that you force people's hands there. shot it's only four under playing it I feel like this really focusing down could could probably be a a very very low scoring course I uh, see I like this hole because it gives you an unsettling lie out of the fairway Look at that little pa practice putting green in the back. Can we take, it, take, take a look at this? Look at that. A little practice putting green. The small details in this thing. Golf carts. Tee boxes. It's quality. It's, it's a really quality course. Down one foot. Try to get it to roll out a little bit extra. Oh, I didn't see the wind. It's going to be short. Playing quick, didn't pay attention to the win there. Whoop. See what kind of public, yeah, see? Don't let me, don't let me knock, like that the greens take away from this because it definitely doesn't. It's just a fun, enjoyable score, low scoring course. course design is absolutely terrific though the tree placement oh that was slow I like this penalizing shot So like I should have definitely been huge. I would say if you're going to keep the green speeds how they are, increase the rough difficulty. I love it. Every hole is a, it's a little bit of something new. You got a little tree here, a little sloping fairway there, a very small green there. It's very consistent. The, the bunker work is, is really nice. That should be close. There we go. Yeah, it's 
it's really good course. Uh, the creator of this course. God. Where someone asked me, where is it? Told me his name. No, maybe I didn't. Ooh, I like this. Get this on a windy day. Yeah, you get that shot on a windy day, you could have some serious problems. There. See, like, this is a much better green. Penalize people who don't always hit the good sloping putts. I gotta say, I'm really impressed here. I know there's a lot of quality courses. There's hundreds and hundreds of them. A little thing that always I love is when tee boxes line up like this. That's, it's just, it's like oh, my little OCD kind of kicks in on that. <laughs> just making sure that all the tee boxes align straight. I love the fairways here. This is, I'm saying, if, if you're going to have a little bit easier greens, that's 100% fine. Uh, you just got to find a little bit different way to make people score diff uh, harder. Ooh, that's just me being bad. Like, um, thicker rough. The bunker work, look at it. It's so real. Go in. And by all means, like, this is just a quick playthrough. Just to show the course off. It's not about the game. But there's so many aspects of this. That just flow very nicely to everything else. Get that through. So far. Oh yeah, I like that. Turn it back in. Ooh, hit a little bit hard. Ooh. I know, um, it's, a, it's a pretty much a landlocked course. Par five, great design. A little elevation here. Just the fine work in the bunkers, the bushes, the practice putting green. I really kind of can't get over the practice putting green. Should be able to get there on this. Reachable par five. Nice little shot there. I'm, I'm really liking it. Oh, he's got a ball washer, a bench. Oh, yes. Force people to hit a three wood here. Not enough courses do this. Forces people to hit a shot. Force them to hit a driver in here. Might be in the bunker. Hop over it. Get over it. Oh. It's a great pin location too. Bigger green. Should roll out a little bit. No. Not enough. I mean, I understand. Oh. And that's a, probably a tough thing for a course designer is 
wanting to make it hard so that it gets really quality play, but at the same time not making it so hard that people don't want to play it. You got to find essentially the balance. And I think this does that. I really like all the par threes over the uh, over the water. Because on right now, like the wind is pretty, pretty docile. That's a miss too. But when you get one of those tournaments and they crank the wind up to high and it's blowing into the water. Oh man, what a finishing hole. This will make or break some people. This might make or break me right now. I think this is a great way to finish. Uh oh. Is it gonna break? Am I gonna break? Don't you do it. Oh. Oh man, and then I gotta go. Oh. You can ruin a lot of people's hearts with this finish. Look at the back. Let's just take one more second of the backdrop. We got the yachts in. This is definitely a private golf course. We got a. Alright, we got a little, little cookout. Look at the entrance way. It's pretty quality stuff. Did an absolutely fantastic job with this course, and I highly recommend playing it as I put this in the water. <sighs> Ooh, barely. Oh, I don't want to. Let that roll out. Yeah, so this is. Um... I highly recommend playing it. This is just a quick playthrough, just to show off the course. That's all it's about. I mean, there's not really too much to talk about. Everyone has their own un unique uh, characteristics on how they design courses. I really enjoyed playing this course for two reasons. One, I felt like it flowed really well. Uh, two, I really like the difficulty. It forces your hand to hit some certain shots. But at the same time, you can still go and play your game. You can turn it right. You can turn it left. You can hit it high up over the trees and risk it. Now, I would like to see this course in a very high wind setting. And I would like to see the greens go a little bit faster or some more hills. Stuff that's going to make it a little bit more difficult. But if you're just going out for a low scoring, fun course to play, I don't think you uh, can go wrong right here. Pine Isles Golf Course, give it a play. Not rated yet. Only 45 people have played this course. It deserves better. Give it a play. Check me out for more videos later. Catch you later. Don't forget to like and subscribe.